Dear here, Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Rizal Haq. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know in industrial system, different models of our controller are using to control the turbines. Pick 150 is most usable and user friendly controller of them. Most of us does not know how to configure, monitor and take backup program by using handheld programmer. That means uh, most of us do not know how to use handheld programmer. Today I will discuss about the configuration, monitor and taking backup program of PIC 150 Udward controller by using handheld programmer. So, let's start. You see that it is the handheld programmer that are using to configure, monitor and uh, taking backup data by using this handheld programmer. This is uh, the 9 pin RS485 cable, RS232 cable that is used to that is connect to the UDOT controller to configure the PK150. So, you see it is the PIC150 UDOT controller that used to control the turbine, one of the turbine that is using in our industry. So, you see the right side corner, it, uh, it is the different types of uh, components and the model are using is here. And then uh, in this uh, controller, I try to take backup and uh, backup data from this controller by using the handle programmer. So, you see the right side uh, where the uh, front side you see here of the screwdriver has the accumulation port. So, I opening this one and to connect the same uh, handle programmer is here. First, I open this one. This is the 19 communicator uh, communication port is here. So, if you follow my videos carefully, you can understand uh, how to use the handle programmer and how can we take backup or how can we change the program or how can you monitor the program by using handle programmer. You see, it is the communication port. It is the controller side is the male port, yes, yeah, so female port, and the handle programmer side is the male port. So I connect this one. When I connect this one, then the handle program will get power and it will be show the display. Easily you can understand. So you see. Already this uh, handheld programmer got power from the controller side. It is uh, mainly working the 7 to 28 volt. I will tighten some one that when I use this one, it cannot be open. You see, but uh, for this, you see, got power and press the enter button. It is the so first one is the alarm. Alarm is the first one configuration mode, and you go to the right side and go to the left side. Left, right, uh, left, left scrolling and left scrolling that means the up down key you, you can leave the up key or down key to go to the inter mode and they see the different setting value in the categories first uh, the left key and right key you use to select the category and up the up key and the down key is used to go to the in this category the different options that you can uh, go to there and I can get the different value. You see, I have first one put the alarm and I am seeing the different options that are including or configured in this ASMI. When the one category is finished, you can spin the escape button and then scroll the right scrolling. Then you can get the another option. You see, another option is tips. In your tips, you can then the down key and you go to the different options that are configured in, in the in uh, in the honor of this uh, tips, the, the, the tips have the any different option. You can uh, getting this tip by the using the down scrolling key skill. When the all the option is finished, then you can press the escape button. Escape button will go to the another category. See, then you can get another option. So you press escape button, go tips, and the right scrolling. Then you can get the another category. See, the 
dynamic state. Then the down kit, press the down kit and go to the different option that are already configured in, in favor of this uh, spin dynamic, you get the another maybe device option you can use. If you want to change any one, you can press the enter button, then you can go to the edit mode and you can change this one. In that case, I am not showing the changing option, then uh, I am just I am showing the how can we use the header programmer and how can we uh, take backup from this uh, controller side it is the I am showing this step by step and so in the previous video I have shown how can uh, uh, I have described different function key of handheld programmer if you can uh, miss this video you can show in the video description box and link is available you can see from this here so uh, when the one category is finished then you go there. It is the two type configuration is available. It is the one is the normal normal configuration and another is the, uh, the high configuration that is the important configuration. In the in, uh, in this uh, controller in the peak 200 uh, 150 you can get the controller uh, the option you can normal you can go to the, the normal configuration value you can go to by the you can see the enter button then you can get the different categories here and the different categories you can uh, go to the right right scrolling and uh, to select the uh, first one you have to be changed that if you want to select one category that is the uh, alarm, step, step, dynamic, idea, step, you can this the category in this category you can select by using the right scrolling and the left scrolling and the up and down button can use to go to in the different option in favor of the different categories and uh, if you can press the enter button then you can go to the edit mode and can get the option and that case you can change the value you see when the one category is finished then you can press the escape button and escape button is to go to the Escape button you to go to yeah, by pressing the escape button you go to the category mode and uh, by pressing the up and down you can go to the different option. You see one option is to press the escape button, press the right button, right scrolling and left scrolling. Right scrolling go to the forwarding option and left scrolling you can go to the left uh, uh, left uh, option uh, left category same. And then uh, up key uh, that way down key you go to the different option to down uh, the step by step and up skip go to the previous option and go to the left option if I using that. Now you go to the another option that you can see the read out or read out alarms and read out alarms you can find out the different option uh, and uh, that can you can uh, adjust and take that to right to scrolling key. And it, is, it is very user friendly the handheld program is can easily you can use this one uh, because the uh, by using this one uh, uh, how can you take backup? It is not uh, taking backup by the software, by, by can be in drive or anything. So, you can uh, go to the one by one category and can have to be write down step by step. If you one category is finished, then you can uh, get the another category and you have to uh, take uh, written out. Written out that means that taking backup, that means that you have to be write down the different option. Now, you see, I uh, go to the another option in category is IO check, and IO check you can get the different option by pressing the down scrolling. You see, DI1, DI2, DI3, and all the options you can do. Be, uh, many, many parameter settings have to be in this, uh, in this shape to not control other than the P150. In the previous video, I have shown the how can I use this handle program and uh, another option I have shown the hardware description of this uh, the defense hardware of this uh, peak 150 and peak 100 conversion but the versus of the 250 that means the peak 200 so therefore you see it is the another option that are taking the backup or the monitor in the program so you can, uh, it is uh, also the monitor and also the taking backup also that can connect the using procedure of this handle programmer you see the one L option is finished and the, and the loud syrup it is repeating repeating that means the category is repeating one message so if you go to the right spot you can see another the, 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 the speed guard and the, it is the category by i have a so uh, again again uh, showing that the by the right scrolling or left scrolling you can select the category of this in there uh, settings and in this category you can press the down button and up button you can see the different option settings is here you can see 
the normal setting options are already finished now we go to the important settings so select so the escape button and go to the one uh, main menu and in the see the and you see press the enter button and go to the dot menu dot is the bit configure press the dot button you can set the press enter you can press enter value and then you can set the press enter you need to shut down that means that if is the enter value then go the tower will be running will be shut down and we go to the important uh, settings options and first one is the speed setting and speed setting you can see the mpo of the number of mpo what's the uh, get uh, ratio that to one the hertz uh, the uh, main hertz that means the speed that means the in the it is the most important settings so that it is i have already tell you that it is there are two type of setting one is the normal setting that is the alarm peaks here uh, that is the uh, how so i using that but important thing is speed con peaks start mode is the important setting and important setting what we go to the i have already to tell you that if you want to configure the peak 150 when uh, you want to go to the important setting mode you know, that time will be automatically shut down uh, so you cannot uh, do in this uh, configuration but cannot take uh, backup when the tower is at running mode uh, it is already running it automatically shut down if you go to the important setting parameters like you know, sorting f sub sub and then uh, in the you can see that when the one option is finished you can is, uh, press the escape button and go to again go to the another option and uh, in other categories and in other categories you can see the loud down skip you can get the different types of option that are available in this am configuration so you can see it is very easy and user friendly the handle programmer by using the handle programmer you can easily understand the how the about the setting as available here you can also take uh, write down the uh, parameters uh, that if you buy another new pick 150 then you have to use this data if you cannot take backup that means you cannot write down so you cannot configure this is this is the new one so when the your uh, if is the any controller are running in your plant you can take backup or write down this calling but the, if all the data you are you have to be used to configure the new one so you have to be take one by one and we have to be check one by one the uh, parameters and you have to be write down so it is very use a uh, very easy to take backup or to use the handle programmer to configure the pick 150 you see the the readouts speed do now and the option i show the relay relay is the one of the most important uh, that means the relay will be trip the turbine and the whole the relay activated that the turbine will be trip and the previous video i have show, i have seen i have to show that uh, the different fashion the function uh, description of different function your handle programmer that is a skip button you can if you want to press the once you can go to the uh, previous categories if you press the twist then the it will be all that will be set and go to the normal mode but the uh, first one uh, first monitor mode and if you press the save button the all that will be set and if you double press the skip button is all that will be set and go to the first option so you see had a config transmission mode that is all of them is available is here normally only one the important things that when you go to the important setting you have to press the dot button and if you go to the normal set button then you can then you see already all the setting is completed that means the our uh, taking backup or monitor the program is already finished you see it is the category that is the repeating the speed dynamic start mode or that the actuator config it is the important uh, settings operating mode the readouts uh, that is the relay set uh, and the contact in a port config so then it is repeating that means the all the option is are finished then when the option is finished then is press the escape button you see it is most important how can we uh, back out is press the escape This is a rebooting controller. That means the controller is restarting, and uh, then we go to the normal mode. You can see that the rebooting is taking time to reboot the controller. When the reboot is completed, in the C, we got controller come back to the main page. We have come easy, come back to the main our main page. Sir. So, dear friend, I have show you step by step how can we 
use the handheld programmer to configure the PIC 150 UDOT controller and now we removing the handheld programmer from the actuator that means the controller to open this one you see already open and uh, you can uh, then the UDOT controller have uh, power remove that means the, the, the that's not getting power we already we remove this one and we did, now we connect and now we shift. this uh, port is the cover is covered and it is sliding this one that means if i try to show you how can we use the handheld programmer to configure take back up the uh, p150 if you think my video is helpful to you please subscribe my channel if you already subscribe thank you in the next video i will show how can we configure the fig 100 uh, fig 200 uh, by using a uh, software and the button so dear friend no more today please like comment and share my video so assalamu alaikum please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching